Hi, I'm Matthew, and today we're going to do a shootout between the PAA Strangle Your Neck and the Gillette Silver Blue. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. All right, I am prepared. I had my wife load blades in these two razors that are exactly the same. These are the, these are the Game Changer .84 with a solid bar. I have no idea which blade is in here, but we will see which blade works best for me. And you know, it's this is one of those things where in our mind, sometimes we tell ourselves, I love this, I love it. And I often wonder, is it just in my mind or is it really the thing that I love the most? And so we're gonna go ahead and do a shootout or a blade comparison based on that. And today's shave soap is by Mystic Water Soap. And this is Adirondack Jack. Now, I will say, I am sorry, Soap Thing. You sent this to me a long time ago, and you know how it is making videos. You just get these ideas, and some ideas get put on the back burner. This particular soap uh, was sent to me by Soap Thing, and thank you very much. Now, the scent on this, uh, I'll put a scent profile picture right here, but to me, it's kind of a, uh, a fresh, clean scent, almost as if you were uh, hiking down a trail near a stream or river. So it kind of has a little bit of an earthy, uh, outdoorsy type smell, but yet it's clean, if that makes sense. Might be confusing as mud or clear as mud. All right, so I have that soap. I need to drink another Red Bull. <laughs> no. But I do have that soap already whipped up in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And I'm using my Trotter's Handcraft Brush. And this one is the Copper Pot. So no pre-shave. I'm just going to get straight away to applying the lather. And this does have a nice scent to it. Uh, I might have to find a matching splash if there is such a thing. Because I have no idea. <laughs> I told my wife, hey, I need you to help me in a shave video. And she said, I'm not helping you. I'm not being in the video. And I said, well, honey, you're not going to be in the video. So I had to show her how to load a blade in these razors. And I'm like, I don't want to know what's in it. Uh, just load it, spin it, mix it. And let's get to seeing whether I know the difference between these blades. Here we go. Pass number one. Sorry, I knew right away this particular blade is very smooth. It feels really nice. And since this is my first video on this particular shootout, I kind of wanted to do something that I knew was night and day. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's, let's make the playing field a little easy on me this first go round because some of the blades that I am going to be comparing are ones that come really close. And so I'm going to say, because I can call it right now, I believe this is the Gillette Silver Blue. I have no way of telling other than I'm keeping it on my left side, but to you it will be my right side as you're watching. I think I could be wrong. All right. Ooh, oh yeah. Night and day difference. This is the PAA Strangelet Blade. Not very smooth. It's it's 
definitely tuggy and just not very comfortable. So I know where that's going to go with my neck. I punished myself enough. Let's just take a look and see, is that really the blade? Because I'm not going to continue on with that. And you're going to see it just as I see it live. Well, not really live, but, you know, that, you know, strangle your neck. Okay, so we're, we're done with that. Whew. I just, I can't do it. And this is the first time that I'm using this particular soap. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just uh, kind of doing two evils at one time because normally I don't experiment with two odd things or things I haven't used before. But I know that the razor blade and the razor performs well and the soap really doesn't have that much of an impact. I may have went a little thin with it. These brushes with trotters, I mean, they just, they hold all that lather in there. I love it. And uh, so, you know, I'm kind of lost for words. <laughs> oh boy. All right. And, uh, I need to rinse my hand off. I'll be right back. Did you miss me? I'm going to go with the second pass across the grain here. And for me, uh, when I tried to use those blades in the past, the one thing that I was wanting to kind of experiment with was the fact that some people say that, <clears throat> excuse me, some blades are coated and the coating is too heavy or too thick. And so they say whether to strop it or um, <clears throat> cork it. And I have never tried that. I mean, I kind of understand that if your blade is super sharp, and you spray that coating on there for the slickness or whatever uh, to, to give it a little bit better feel that if you overdo it, that edge is going to be kind of a little bit more blunt because it's covered up. If that makes sense. Imagine a, a cake and you put a bunch of icing on it. You're not going to see what's underneath because the icing, once you cut through that, then, you're, then you know it's vanilla or chocolate or whatever. So uh, I can see where maybe that, uh, that idea may work uh, and I may have to try that, but I just feel like the blade should be good to go without any kind of preparation. So this soap uh, really didn't have a whole lot of slickness, uh, residual slickness to it. And I could have, you know, maybe had it a little thin, but uh, you know, the shave turned out nice. And I'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water and a rinse, and I will be right back. It is too early in the morning. I did forget my ice cube stick, so I'm going to jump right into the aftershave splash. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to use some star jelly. More specifically, the frostbite. So the shave went well, nice and smooth. I will put a picture right here of the main items that I use today. And I would like to say thank you for all the subscribers, new and old. And if you haven't considered subscribing, please do that now. I would really appreciate it. And if you like this video, let me know if uh, there's something that I could or could not change for the next comparison shave. Uh, I feel like I tried to do it as fair as possible, but with you guys viewing, you might see something that I don't see. So, all right, well, I will see you guys 
on Sunday Shave. You have a great rest of your week.